learning more tonight about a deadly crash that happened this afternoon in Anniston on Old Gadsden Highway. Hello, I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. Three people died in that crash. One was airlifted to UAB Hospital. We brought you this tragic story as breaking news at 5. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff has been covering this story for us. And Jamie, you learn that the person in the hospital right now is in trouble with the law. Sherry, that's right. According to Calhoun County's chief deputy, Matthew Wade, the man recovering right here tonight uh, was spotted by a Calhoun County deputy in downtown Anniston driving the wrong way in a pickup truck and running a red light. Now, the video you're seeing here, that is the tragic result of what happened there, according to deputies, when the one deputy tried to pull him over. Again, that suspect was driving into oncoming traffic when he hit another car. Both of those vehicles bursting into flames. Three people in that other car, a Honda Civic, died in that crash. Now, deputies would later find out that that pickup truck that the suspect was driving had been stolen in Anniston earlier today. This guy, this, this criminal, this person has caused tremendous damage today. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's an ongoing investigation. I, I, I want to know why just as much as everybody else does, but it's a, it's a tragedy. I have been and will continue to pray for these people and their family, and it's just uh, it's a shame and it's, and it's senseless. No charges have been announced at this point, so neither the suspect nor the victim's names have been released at this point. Meanwhile, the Calhoun County Sheriff's Office has turned this investigation over to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. We are live at UAB Hospital tonight. Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.